In this video, we will take a quick look at the graphical message flow viewer functionality of Bistock 360. One of the main reason we designed graphical message flow viewer in Bistock 360 is to give a visual representation of your message flow in the system. Often times for Bistock support people are very difficult to understand how the message is published into the system. How how it got picked up by certain subscribers like send ports or orchestrations in the system. You need to have a certain level of uh, Bistock knowledge uh, to understand the message flow within your system. The main objective for us is to take that barrier out and, and make it easy for people to uh, understand the message flow within the system. In this video we will see few uh, demonstrations uh, showing the real power of graphical message flow viewer in Bistock 360. In order to use the graphical message flow viewer functionality in Bistock 360, you just go to the data tab and select tracking data and you can query your tracking data directly in Bistock 360. In, uh, in this screen, I just selected the tracked service instances and I filtered it by, by the service instance name equal to XML receive. So basically, I filtered it out on all the messages received into the system. So all you need to do is double click one of them. So I'm just going to pick this one, uh, which will bring the uh, graphical message flow view viewer uh, window as shown here. And before diving into the details, I just want to highlight few things. Uh, there are few legends in the in the diagram, and there are messages are color coded, uh, which you can see. Uh, the blue ones are the messages received into the system and the green ones are the ones transmitted, uh, uh, it, it got a special meaning. When when there is a green green uh, message, you can click to expand it. It basically, it's the messages that gets published into the system. And the red ones are the, the ones transmitted outside the Bistock boundary, something like your external system or response to your request response port uh, in your receive side. So in this example, I just picked up an XML receive. So we you can see the message received and then it got published. You, you click on this one and you, you can see the message got a picked up by an orchestration and you again you can see a green message uh, you click on this one and you can see it went to a uh, to a pass through send pipeline so the, the, the some of the key points is like uh, you can you can rearrange the diagrams it's really useful when you got a complex diagram uh, when your message flow gets more complicated and you can select a, any of the arrows to see how they are connected again it becomes super useful when you're when you got a really complicated message flow diagram to understand the where the messages uh, has gone the Bistock 360 itself will try to uh, adjust the layout as much as it can but it also gives you the flexibility to so you can rearrange it uh, based on uh, based on how you want to understand it the other important aspect is uh, the the properties so you can pick up on any of the messages say for example this is the message we received and it's a raw message it's not parsed uh, and you can see the message type is unparsed and when it come out of the other side you can see this is, since an XML receive pipeline the message type got promoted and and the, the message comes out as a, with this as a proper message and this gets picked up by orchestration and then it went all the way to the uh, to the, the pipeline and the other property you can check is the, the service instance properties so you can click on one of these pipelines or orchestration and you can get the details of that service instance uh, and in, in in this case uh, for example when I go if you go back to the the message example you select this one and you can you can tell exactly where the message has landed and you can see this is something which has gone to an external system that's a external folder uh, somewhere in the system. Let's take a look at a different example. Uh, let, let me pick up a message from here. So this one uh, you can see it's a request response port. So there is a XML receive and pass through transmit and I'm just going to click on the message that got published and again it's a request response port. So the message went outside to a uh, two-way send port and the response got published again back to the orchestration and from here it went all the way up to the uh, uh, up to the uh, receive port so this is a classic end-to-end uh, -end two way example so it's, it's a two way receive port and a two way send port and an orchestration uh, that sits in the middle uh, as as we seen earlier you can rearrange it uh, you can uh, if it's getting really confused like you can you can move each and every 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 bit of the uh, 
diagram uh, until until it it makes sense to you so so it gives you complete flexibility let's cover one more example uh, let me pick up this one so this one is a sample from the SDK uh, it's, it's a scatter gather pattern from the SDK basically uh, a message received through the XML receive pipeline are uh, picked up by an orchestration and the, the message gets uh, scattered into multiple messages and it, they all got picked up by the sub orchestrations so you can click on all those uh, green ones until the, the loop is complete and you can click on the, the response from the orchestrations as well so this is uh, the this is uh, the complete picture and, and one thing I forgot to mention is the zoom in functionality so when once your message gets uh, complicated you can you can zoom in and to fit fit the screen so you, you can see in this diagram so message received orchestration scatter gather pattern it got scattered picked processed by the sub orchestrations and the response got collected into the main orchestration and then the final message was transmitted to the to the external system so let's quickly summarize what we have seen. So the graphical message flow viewer allows you to visualize the message flow within your system. One of the main points to remember here is you don't need to do anything during your development cycle. Graphical message flow viewer works on top of your tracking data. So you should be able to install BizTalk 360 on your existing environment. Start visualizing the way uh, the data flows, uh, flows through the system. So it's very seamless and straightforward. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.